Hey there everyone, it's Val, and welcome back to Tolkien Craft 2, The Labors of Valentine. Uh, today's end of, the t end of the day tour is going to be pretty short. I did get a lot done, but I'll explain in a moment why it's going to be short. Anyway, first thing, false alarm, uh, end of last tour. Um, if you remember, or maybe you don't remember, at the beginning of the tour, I took my wand out of the wand holder up there for refilling. And I for had forgotten that this is not shielded yet. I don't have the top piece on it uh, because I'm still growing my node. Um, so it sucked it dry and I'm waiting for it to refill. It's taking a very long time uh, because it's a very large node. Um, so basically I didn't break anything. Nothing is broken. User error. My bad. <laughs> I did put annotations and uh, notes in the description, etc., but if you didn't notice those or can't see them because um, you're on mobile or have them turned off or something, all is well. I just have to wait for this. All right, so what else did I do today? Well, I've been working very hard on getting my thumb area set up with AE. So I'm just going to show you this. I'm not going to show you it in detail. I'm going to do a walkthrough once I've actually built all the parts. We're still missing the Essentia Crystallizer over here. Um, all right, uh, whatever it's called, the Crystallizer. Anyway, I still have to, to make that, and that chest is probably going to go away. And then when I have done that and have familiarized myself properly with how everything works, then I will show you in detail um, what exactly what I've done. Uh, I've also added a regular crafting terminal up here because you can have something being made in this crafting terminal and you can have a different thing, as you can see, being made in this terminal over here, which of course requires your wand because this is the arcane terminal. So it made sense to put that up here as well. Um, I'm just going to pop down here and show you quickly the tangle of wires. And basically we're pretty much at full capacity with each section that I've got set up. Um, I will just... So this, this wire is reserved and it's actually on the wrong side so we'll probably have to loop it up and over or something like that. Unless I move it to this other corner, which I probably will do now I think of it. So this is probably going to move over here. And then that way, um, the wire goes that way to that. And it should work out pretty good. All right. I have one other thing that I want to show you. Actually, no, two things. Two things to show you. I just wanted to quickly mention, um, probably wondering why I removed my dirt here. I'm using this, or you might wonder what the dirt's there for in the first place. Uh, I'm using the dirt as a place against which to put my teleposers when I'm transporting my nodes over here so that I can arrange them in rows. I start at the top and go down. And that way I can have uh, a lot more nodes uh, around this and it's much easier. Anyway, the thing I wanted to mention was this infusion provider. This act, as you might have noticed, I had all those jars arranged around here with barrels. Well, with the AEE system and with the infusion provider, I don't need any of those, so I picked them all back up and I didn't have to make them all in the first place. I was thinking of the old manual way, having never played with the AE system before. So this is connected to the AE system. You can see through the leaves up here, or through the glass, I should say. You can see the wiring heading out that way. I hid it under leaves up there so that it looks like the tree just kind of grew over there, so... Um, I'm trying to keep all as much of the technology hidden as I can and just leave the more magic-y stuff visible. This acts like a big jar that connects to your AE system, so all the essential you have stored in your AE system can be drawn directly into your infusion altar when you're working on it. This location is as far away as it is advisable to have it. According to my sources, i.e. chat, <laughs> <laughs> you should have it within seven blocks. Um, so this is seven out this way and seven up. Um, 
So if it was one block higher or one back block further away, um, or kitty corner, it would be too far away. So that will give you an idea of the distance that you can have it um, and still have the infusion uh, drawn into the altar. And it works very nicely. I made a few things and I'm when I do my demonstration of all the parts of the system once, like I said, once I've played with it all and understand it all as much as as much as necessary then uh, I'm going to try to do a demonstration of each part. So you can kind of see the see the little um, green through the leaves here. I'm hoping it looks like the tree just kind of grew over there so that I could hide the wiring. It doesn't look too bad, I think. All right, so that's the second last thing. If you're wondering what the cat coughing in the background is, her name is Stefan and she has asthma. And she's having an asthma attack. She is on an inhaler. She is fine. She's just having an evening attack. She'll she'll be fine. All right. Where's the thing I was going to show you? Oh, I have to get I have to get something first. Emeralds. Ah, uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's buy six things. No, I'm not going shopping with an NPC. I'm going to show you something else. And where did I put it? Where did I put it? There I put it. This is from Pam's Harvest Craft. Craft. It is called a market. And I'm just going to show you what it does. My love, uh, okay, so you just make it with wood and an emerald. And as you can see, once you place it, you can buy any of the seeds. So, for example, uh, oh, actually, you can buy bone meal, too. I didn't realize that. You can buy spawn eggs of various types. And you can also buy various saplings. Like a cinnamon sapling. Uh, I'm going to buy... Okay. Oh, that costs three. Okay, I didn't realize that. Um... Can I oh, Enough, I'm here. hit the buy button? Hit the buy button, Val. Starfruit, no. Pomegranate, no. Pistachio, no. Peppercorn. Do I have a peppercorn one? Hang on. Um, let's put this in here. No, I don't have peppercorn. Oh, good. It remembered where I was. That is awesome. And let's buy a peppercorn. So, if you have emeralds to spare, this would be a great way to get the saplings that you're having trouble finding, finding or the seeds, for that matter. Um, which means you could, uh, since Agricraft is now in the pack, instead of crossbreeding them, you could actually buy the seeds from here. Uh, the only disadvantage to doing that is that any seeds bought through here would start out as, as 1 1 1 seeds. Um, if you're not familiar with Agricraft, you won't know what that means. Um, if you look at the seeds here, it says growth 10, gain 10, strength 10. That's your best seed. Uh, growth is how fast it grows. Gain is how much you harvest. Uh, so gain 10 gives you 4 times what you get at level 1. So for example, wheat, a level uh, gain 1 seed would give you 1 wheat. A gain 10 seed would give you 4. Um, and the strength is how strong it resists weeds. Uh, I did a test, and I don't know if I mentioned this before, I did a test with a wheat seed, a 10-10-10 wheat seed, um, and I had a weed parked right beside it, and I, I left that for, I think, a couple hours, and that, that wheat did not get destroyed by the weed. That's not to say that it's a 100% chance that it will never get destroyed. I don't know that. Um, I would still be careful about weeds, even if you have 10, 10, 10 seeds. Uh, but at least they'll survive a lot longer with a weed around. Um, weeds will, will destroy your crop if you don't have 10, 10, 10 seeds in... Well, the less... Oops. Anyway, as you can see, I've got four petals here from this 10, 10 seed, which I didn't intend to show, but there you go. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, weeds can wipe out a, a, a crop pretty quickly. Um, the Basically, the lower the strength, the faster they get destroyed by weeds. But anyway, the point I was making about the uh, seeds that you buy from over there, once you plant them on a crop, you would get... This is a, a crop, these sticks sticking up. Um, it would be a 1-1-1 one, one, one seed. You'd have to put it through the analyzer to see that. Um, but that means they're basically starting at ground zero and have to be um, bred up, up, until they get to 10-10-10. If you crossbreed two 10-10-10 <clears throat> seeds, you end up with a... F uh, to get a new variety of plant, instead of buying the seed from the, the PAMS market, you start with a 5-5-5 five, five, five seed. So you're halfway to the end result by doing that. So you're better off doing the crossbreeding manually, unless you don't care that it's a 1-1-1 one, one, one seed, in which case the PAMS market will be better for you. And Llama Bomb says that the 10 strength seeds are impervious to weeds. It's confirmed by the modder who is Infinity Raider. Um, Uh, some people might, if you've watched my Project Renesinctus, you would know he is the person who role-played KL in that series. Um, so, uh, you're probably right, Llama Bomb, but I still want to put that caveat in there because there's always the possibility that it could change in the future, so I would just be suspicious of weeds. Weeds suck. <laughs> All right, so uh, that is everything. That is everything I have to show you uh, today. And uh, uh, hopefully next time I stream Token Craft 2, I will get my Thumbcraft area finished being set up, and then I can do my talk about what I've learned on from Greater Raider, basically, because I keep going to his base as a reference. <laughs> uh, and I believe I could be wrong, but you should check out his uh, his uh, YouTube channel because he has been putting up some episodes from Token Craft 2 and I believe he's also been doing some tutorials um, as well, so you should really check it out and see what he's been up to um, I'm sure it is very educational in fact, I know they are Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this tour. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the stream sometime. Y'all take care now. Bye!